Good afternoon, Pistorino fans. Um, today is a big day for the new build. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of videos here coming up really soon. I just got a package in um, from a company you guys all know, Trail, And I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, that'll be this video. And then the next few videos, I'm going to break down why I chose the part, each part, and how good they work because I'll, I'll obviously I'll be installing them too but in the next round of videos it'll just be why I picked it and then I'll um, show you the advantages and so on and so forth so let's get started so this is what I got in the mail today the brown box And I'll tilt this up a little bit. And so we're gonna go through this. Look at that. Packed full of goodies. So let's slide this this way. We're gonna start out. We got the high clearance lower links, and these are brass. So trail brass lower links um, with the extra ground clearance. So those will be good. Then we've got the upper links. These are also brass trail links. Look very nice. By the way, I did order a light so my next videos will start looking better. Because I'll actually have some light in here. Next up is my tried and true. I put this on all of my higher end builds. And these are the wheel extensions slash weights. I think these are 21 grams each or 19 grams each, somewhere in there. It gives you a seven plus seven millimeters extension. And then like I said, 21 grams, not ounces, grams of weight. Next up, I've never used this before. Um, my favorite is GPM, as you guys well know. But I thought I'd give Trail a try. So these are the Trail um, heavy duty uh, drive shafts. So, yeah, Trail heavy duty steel center slider drive shaft set. Front and rear. I'm not doing the extended front on this build yet um, because if I use the ripper chassis, it's you know has wheel wells and I don't want my wheels sticking way out in front of that. So just going to be doing the regular front and rear. So you, you guys know I always do blue on all my builds because blue is my favorite color. Well. This time I wanted to mix it up a little bit and we're going red. So there's the red anodized uh, trail transmission case. Um, advantages are really none except for the color, I guess, um, compared to other aluminum transmission cases. I've ran several different kinds and they're all pretty good. Trails look the best in my opinion, so that's why I got it. Um, and I'm running the low end gears, so that's why I didn't get the one with gears in it. So there's that. So pretty much right now, that is the only red piece that I've got for the car. Oh wait. Now ah, there's one more. I'll show you here in a second. Next up, we've got the transmission base. Uh, it's the Trill Brace or <laughs> Trill Center Skid Plate CNC machined, and it is solid brass. I've never used a brass one before, so I thought, why not? I'm really going heavy on brass on this one because of what's next, but. You can see that 
it's pretty. Okay, up next, and finally, does anybody know what that is? These are the Trill TRX-4M Front Portal Axles Complete Kit. So this has everything you need, the axle housing, the diff covers, everything to make your front axle housing and portals. All the bearings you need, all the screws you need. It's kind of hard to see in here, but you got the, the axle there. That looks like the standard axle, which would be awesome. Yeah, so they've made portals that fit onto the trail axles. So or to the housing so that's pretty cool so and being that I'm going four wheel steering I got another one so we got two front portal axles so that I mean with that other than a chassis and shocks that pretty much builds a, a rolling car um, all the bearings for the transmission, all the bearings for this. So that means I don't even have to buy bearings. And that's, that's why I went with these. Because one, it comes with the steering knuckles. It comes with the portals. It comes with the axles. Um, the drive shafts. Everything you need is in here. So that's why I went with these. Because it actually ends up saving you money. Because the axles themselves are 50 bucks. And then you get portals and everything else. And I think these are 79 bucks. So for 30 bucks, you get weights, um, which are 20 bucks. Drive sh or axles, which are 25, 30 bucks. So anyway, you save a lot of money going with this. Um, so that's why I, I went with the trail ones. Um, looks, uh, you know, I had the brass ones on, well, I still had the brass ones on, um, my stock body build, but these things look so much better. Not that the stock body build ones aren't, don't work. They work great, but I can't wait to see how smooth these are. So that's the shipment from Trail. Um, somehow these showed up in under a week. I don't know. I've always had to wait for Trail parts, but under a week, that's great timing. So um, I suggest everybody use Trail. Um, I think Mias, I'm using the chassis and the lay down servo mounts. <clears throat> NSDRC I'm using the servos for now I've got some insider info on Mia since servos so we'll see how that goes um, what else oh fear attack all my fear attack stuff's coming in today so I'll show you that um, later today but that's all for this video. The next videos, I'll explain these parts and maybe even show some of the assembly needed. Um, but for now, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.